Hey guys, what's up? So, this just uh, showed up a couple minutes ago on Amazon. This just came out about a week ago. Uh, I first noticed this on GitHub. And uh, I noticed that they had came out with a version 1.4. So this is the SKR 1.4. It's the newest version of the SKR series boards. Um, Cool, the usual rubber ducky. <laughs> kind of funny. Alright, um. Alright, cool. Let's take a look at this thing. So, I currently already have a SKR 1.3 board and an SKR um, uh, 1.1 board. So, this is almost virtually the same, but there's a few added features to the. Uh, compared to the SKR 1.3 board and it's actually the non-turbo version so it's the uh, it, the, the turbo version has the uh, I think it's a 69 chip 1769 this one has a 1768 uh, main processor, RISC processor um, this one's about 20 megahertz slower than the, uh, the, the turbo version but virtually they're, they're exactly the same but alright so let me go through here and uh, Alright, so I'm going to be replacing my computer, my main computer, with uh, this board. So the, the, my main computer, which is this printer right here, um, which is currently uh, running SKR 1.3. I'm going to take the uh, 1.3 out of here, put the 1.4 into this computer, or excuse me, a 3D printer. Then I'm going to take my um, old printer bot, which is running SKR 1.1 board, and put the 1.3 board in this thing. So, I'm going to kind of downgrade the line, and then I'm going to take the SKR 1.1 board out here and use it for my laser cutter that you've seen in my other videos. Here's a better look at my board setup. So those are the 2209 drivers, and I also have double MOSFETs. Alright, so there is the 1.3 board, and that is the uh, 1.4 board. So, a couple of cool things that I've seen that I, I definitely uh, think are an improvement. And a couple of things I think are downgraded or, or definitely uh, I wish they would have kept. But one of the main things, and I actually kept this on there to, to show it, but one of the things I didn't like about the uh, SKR 103 board was that to have the dual Z motor on the same driver, I'd have a splitter. So I split that off. And I actually had some people that say, hey, why don't you just use the extra extruder motor to drive the second Z motor? Well, if you think about it logically, I mean, you can if you don't have the the voltage to set correctly or the current, your 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 motors could get askew. So to me personally, I, I think it's better to actually split off. So you're actually setting the exact same current or voltage to your separate motors. So if, because I said if you had two different separate drivers, there's too much variance in that where you can actually create problems where you can make your motors askew. Yeah, so I'm you're pretty happy they actually added that feature into this new SK104 board, so I don't have to use a splitter anymore. Alright, a couple other things, the jumpers have changed, and let me grab a, I have a, this is a Trinamic 2208 driver, and I'll show you the differences between them. This one doesn't have stall guard, this is, this is the TMT 2208, and I'll take that off of the 2209. Here are the drivers, the, the blue one is the 2208, and the red is the 2209. You can see the extra pins right there. And that's actually your stall guard pins right there. So the reason why I mention this is because it's a little bit different the way you do stall guard. So if you don't want to use stall guard on your machine um, as an end stop, then you have to cut the pin off. Whereas with the SKR 1.3 board, I could deactivate it via jumper. So that's actually a feature they actually uh, got rid of. I was looking at their manuals like, what? Cut the pin off? But yeah, so in the new version, if you don't want to use stall guard, or if you want to use your end stop, and you want to use a 2209 driver, then you have to cut off that pin. But actually, I'm running stall guard, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, but I am concerned about the stall guard interfering with the uh, BL Touch. And I'll get into that real fast. Alright, so I'm getting the drivers moved over, and I wanted to show you the, the new features of BL Touch. And with the 1.3 board, you had the servo pin connected here, which I think is like the orange, brown, and red pin, I think. I can't remember. But then the 
the white and white the white wire and the black wire would actually connect to your uh, ZN stop. Whereas a little bit different in the 1.4, they have uh, you have your servo pin which is right here, and then that is the actual the the, the trigger the Z trigger, the white wire and the black wire go there. So I don't know. I was looking at the schematic and it said this was on pin one, so I don't know if this is tied into the Z port or not. I might do a continuity test and find out, but so that would be my only concern is with the stall guard. Is that somehow this thing is going to be interfering with the the Z? So I might or might not have to cut the pin off on that driver, but I'm going to find out. So because I do actually have it deactivated in Marlin, so I have uh, the extruder obviously and the uh, the uh, Z disabled because I use BL Touch, and you don't really want to use stall guard on your Z anyways. Um, same thing here, like the old, uh, I'm actually running the old style, I didn't have a video, I'm running the uh, Fist Tech, or uh, what is that thing called, the, uh, the new screen that I showed in another video. So I use these two pairs. A um, couple of, you can, I guess, I guess you can hook up a wireless module here too, and like some kind of uh, RGB lighting the egg pixel. But, I mean this pr should be pretty straightforward. Um, I've already compiled the firmware right here. I compiled it last night. I mean really I just copied my files over from the uh, SKR 1.3 board. And I just had to change the board definition and uh, I had to make sure the pins were there. So I c they just added this board definition to Violin a couple days ago. So it's definitely in there in the latest version, the bug fix version. So I compiled finally any problem. So I mean, everything was exactly the same. I mean, the same processor too, so like I said, it's the non-turbo version, so um, I just got to put it back in now. Got a heatsink for this. I mean, this is probably totally unnecessary. I mean, you really, you really don't need a heatsink for this, but, you know, why the hell not? This thing is only two bucks. Do it straight. Alright, looks pretty good. Alright, we'll get that installed. Alright, so another feature I, I'm not going to use, but it's actually available, is that the original uh, board actually had two fans, two fan, fan, fan outputs. You had your your constant like uh, extruder cooling fan, and you had your part cooling fan. Whereas this new board actually has four output, four uh, fans. You have uh, your standard like 12 volt fan that this is a constant power, and you also have two, they, they call them frequency fans, so I, I'm assuming that's pulse width modulation. Um, I almost forgot. I gotta take these drivers back off. I have to uh, set the jumpers. Alright, so UART is a little different between the SKR 1.3 board and the 1.4 board. So in the 1.3 board, you would basically set UART mode, SPI mode right here. Or also here. But in the 1.4 board, you just leave this one jumper on there right there. Hope you can see that. Alright. And that sets UART mode, and it's, the UART mode allows uh, Marlin to communicate with the drivers directly. So it's a, it's a serial protocol. Alright, so it's time to put this thing on. i got to move the wires back over the MOSFETs. And then, uh, if you're wondering where the manual is for this thing, uh, in GitHub, look under the SKR 1.3, under GitHub, and the S for some reason SKR 1.4 is actually in the 1.3 GitHub. So if you're looking for the manual and the board layout on the jumpers, look there. So. Alright, so before I put that back in there, um, these are the two fan pins I'm going to use. It looks like this is the pulse width modulated fan connector. So that would be the part cooling fan, fan 0. And fan 1, it looks like it's just grounded in a 12 volt or 24 volt, depending on what kind of power supply you have. Uh, your extruder cooling fan will be right there. It's cool there's an actually dedicated port for the BL Touch. Yeah, I love that stall guard. There's no, um, way, way cleaner down here. There's like way less wires, you know, like less, uh, end stops. All right, just gotta put the monitor connectors on. I mean, the LCD in the front here. And that's it, we'll fire it up. All right, so like I said, I, read, I compiled the software last night, so. So far. I, I now there's no firmware on the machine, so hopefully it's picking up firmware. One thing I noticed, I didn't get any power on the uh, BL Touch there. I'm gonna double check that. 
because I didn't get any power here. So, screens on. Let's do a. Okay, cool. Plus is that way. That's correct. Uh, so we know X is working. Let's try Y. That's correct. Pre position. Alright, so I gotta figure out what's up with the BL touch. Alright, so in the new version they, they reversed the uh, ground. The brown pair is the ground and the red is the uh, 5 volt. So they reversed them between 1.3 and 1.4. Let me do a uh, configuration BL touch. So deploy, stow, self test. Yeah, I was always I was kind of worried about the uh, the. Stall guard interfering with this. Even though I don't have it set up in Marlin, there's a hardware trace on the motherboard. And that's actually why they want you to cut that pin. So, let me go back and see if I can home this thing. Home. Uh, XY, that's why. So we know stall guard works. Hmm. That's odd. It's almost like it was going in the wrong direction. Like right now, it's trying to home. So I gotta look at my model configuration and probably invert the axis. So I recompiled the firmware with the, uh, I inverted the uh, Z. So in the SKR 1.3, I didn't have to do that. So. That might be a difference in the board layout, the way it's uh, wired internally. All right. All right, so I am going to move Z here, and then when I go 10, when I go plus, it should go up before it was going down. Let's try that. All right, now it's the right direction. So yeah, that is different on the board. So like I said, I, I confirmed my firmware with like with the SCAR 1.3 board, and um, it's different, you know what I mean? It's reversed on this board. All right, let's try to hum this thing again. Auto home. So this is a stall guard. I have the uh, stall guard set at 100 sensitivity. All right. All right, so you guys saw that. Um, that's how you actually crack a bed. <laughs> Glass bed right there. So I don't know, so there's something going on with the servo. I'm, I'm assuming it has to do with the end stop, so. The uh, stall guard end stop, so. Maybe in Marlin, I, I have to configure the pin. The, uh, what's it called? Because it's no longer using the Z. The Z pin, there's a dedicated pin. All right, I'm gonna do a quick experiment. I'm gonna take out the BL Touch black and white, the probe, I'm going to move it to the actual end stop and see what happens, because that's how I should have it programmed. But this might interfere with the... Uh... Alright, so I moved that pin over. So now the uh, BL Touch is connected to the uh, Z stop. So the actual, that dedicated, uh, I think it was uh, pin 0.10. So you can actually use that, you just have to go into Marlin and program it. So, but this works fine for me, so I'm cool with that, so. So if you look at the manual and you're kind of wondering what the hell's going on with your BL Touch, just try moving it over here to the uh, Z end stop. Or, like I said, program it in Marlin. Alright, so now I gotta do a test cube. I don't have very much filament left here, but 
I'll do a, I might have to reset this thing. My octo screen here. I'm going to reset that. Alright, cool. So let's see my Raspberry Pi. Let's do my, I keep a, a, a where's that? My, Alright. Alright, get back. Alright, my extruder fan is spinning. Guess I'm also going to have to keep an eye on the part cooling fan too. Make sure that comes on. That's a pulse width modulated fan. Alright, so now it's doing the SKU29 command or bed leveling. Alright, let's see what this thing does. Alright, it's going to lay it down its skirt right now. Hopefully, we'll see. Alright, there we go. It's the first print. It's laying down the skirt right now. The calibration cube. So, alright, the heights are looking good. Offset, so G29 was good. Alright, so. Some of the things I had to fix were um, obviously you saw me do the BL Touch. I'd, uh, I didn't use the probe connector for the uh, BL Touch on port 0 0.10. I just used the uh, Z stop. And for some reason, I had to invert my access on the, the Z. So um, that's it. So that was the only difference between the two boards. So um, now I gotta take the 1.3 board and replace the 1.1 board. So the cool thing is I'm going to be able to use the uh, UART again. So I don't want to cut these stupid wires. So, Alright guys, awesome.